This is BBC One. Now, a party election broadcast by the Conservative Party. This time next week, you will have made your decision. Either I'll be back in Downing Street, or we'll have a Labour government. Does that matter? Yes, it does. Because our beliefs are different from Labour. So are our policies. So are our instincts. Take Europe. I passionately believe that we are right to be in Europe, that our jobs and our prosperity depend upon our trade with it. The question is, what sort of Europe? Last week, I told you that I'd never take Britain into a single currency, that only you can do that. That this is a decision of such magnitude, such importance, that we must have a referendum of all adults so that you can express your views. It must be your decision. But there's a much earlier decision that needs to be taken. In six weeks' time, the British Prime Minister, myself, or Mr Blair, will go to Amsterdam to negotiate a treaty. And what's decided there will determine whether we go down the route to a federal Europe or whether we say, no, I don't believe a federal Europe is right for Britain. I shall say no. Mr Blair, Mr Blair will say yes. I know that because he's already committed himself on key policies that lead inevitably towards a federal Europe. Let me tell you what they are. He'll abandon our veto on social policy on regional policy, on environmental policy, on industrial policy. He said so. All of those will just go. He'll hand those key decisions to Brussels to be taken collectively by our partners, perhaps against our wishes and against the vote of the British government. And once gone, we couldn't recover our power. They'd be gone for good. And that's not all. He'd agree an employment package in the new treaty a package that would give the European Union more power over our jobs at precisely the moment that unemployment is going up in Europe and down here across the United Kingdom. Is that wise? Do you think that's sensible? I don't. But that's Labour policy. And then Labour would sign the social chapter. Now that sounds very cosy, doesn't it? Certainly our trade unions would like that and I'll tell you why because they believe they can use it to recapture from Europe precisely those powers that they lost in Britain during the 1980s. I don't want that, do you? The fact is the social chapter will damage our labour relations, our prosperity and cost us jobs. And it will also take more power from our parliament and hand it to Europe. We should say no to it, and I will. And we should say no, too, to something else, another change that Labour propose, devolution, and especially a Scottish tax-raising parliament. The Scots, the Welsh are proud nation-states. But devolution will weaken the whole United Kingdom. Let me explain why. If power moves from Parliament at Westminster to Scotland or to Wales, then Parliament is weaker. It has less authority. A tax-raising parliament in Scotland would set Scotland inevitably upon the road to independence. Not immediately, perhaps, but the first crucial step would have been taken. Friction with Westminster would be followed by fracture from Westminster. And then parliament would be less able to protect all our interests. Because remember this, splitting the United Kingdom into bite-sized bits would make it more difficult for us to win arguments in Europe and in the wider world. So again, we should say no to it, and I will. These choices, these crucial decisions, will be made within weeks. They're not in the far distance, they're for now. Please focus on them. Think about them. Decide what you believe is right for our country. Don't delay. Wait a week, and it will be too late. It's taken years to build up Britain's prosperity. Britain is booming. Don't throw it away. That was a party election broadcast by the Conservative Party. It can be seen again with subtitles at 10.30 on BBC.